Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Alright, something unexpected just happened. Which is kind of crazy. For global players, this is going to be something that's a bit scary. Now what happened? What am I talking about? If you guys are not aware, we know what's coming ahead for Blue Archive, alright? Because there's a JP server, and if you guys have been following the JP server, we know that the character banner, the next one, the next event, after what we're currently having, is going to be Trip Trap Train. And it's going to feature two characters. And that's going to be Kasumi and Ichika. So these two are the two new characters coming right after this. So right now, we are still having this particular uh, event right here. So if you guys want to start playing Blue Archive, now is the best time because you still get Tracks to Asumi for free. So make sure you guys do that, alright? You basically just come to the story here. At Story Chapter 1, you get the main full copy of her for free, alright? And it's like a max out character, right? So it's like one of the best time to start playing Blue Archive. But, but, something crazy just happened. Because, if you guys are not aware, if you look at here, this is the JP Schedule Banner. You can see, right, Haruna Sportswear, Yuuka Sportswear, Mari Sportswear, and then Ichika and Kasumi, and that's pretty much it, right? And then the next one is Shigure Hot Spring. Global is going to have a very different banner alongside with these two characters that I just mentioned, which is Ichika and Kasumi. We are also going to get Yori Rerun. And the best character in the game, the best support, Ako Rerun. Now this is going to change the entire turmoil of how you plan to save for the upcoming future banners, especially for the upcoming collab. So let's talk about it. Now let's first talk about the event Trip Trap Train featuring these two new characters right here. Now, they are both really strong. They are both really strong, but I think a lot of players have pretty much set their mind that they want to skip Kasumi and Ichika. Now both these characters, like I said, they are Sonic type characters, alright? That means they are going to be a purple type, a new type. If you have Swimsuit Hanako, you might not need them as much. But they are both really really cool character. The problem is the collab coming later, alright? In about one and a half months from now, we are going to supposedly have the collab, right? So if you pull on this banner, Trip Trap Train, you might not have enough to save for the collab. And Nexon did something insane by putting Ako right here in the banner. So not just Ichika and Kasumi, so we are also, for global server, we are going to have Ako and Yori. Both are really, really strong meta characters that you should consider getting, alright, if you are a new player. Especially for new players, please pull for Ako. Now here's the truth, right? If you guys are not aware how the banners work, it's very, very good for new players, alright? This means that this is going to be one of the best banners for you to pull uh, because of how they can share the spark. So look at this right here, right? If we go to the recruit, uh, if you guys are not aware, for example, like these three characters, right? Tracksuit Haruna, Tracksuit Yuka, and Tracksuit Mary. I'm sure most of you guys pulled for Tracksuit Yuka and you have gotten her. Now here's the truth. If you pull for banners like this, they all three share the same spark. You can see, right? Haruna here, Yuka here, Mari here. So the idea here is to usually pull for one character that you really, really want and hopefully get them before the spark. Hopefully you're lucky. And then continue on all the way to 200 pulls uh, so that you are able to get the spark characters, uh, the other ones, right? So uh, Tracksuit Yuka is really, really strong. However, Mari and Haruna, uh, they are arguably less useful compared to how strong Tracksuit Yuka is. But for this particular new banner right here, both Kasumi and Ichika and Ako and Yori, they are all sharing the same spark, all right? Because they are all the banner, all four of them are releasing on the same day. All right, and ending at the same date as well. So this is going to last for two weeks. That is going to put uh, even more impact on the usefulness of these characters. So who is going to be the best character to get ideally, right? So obviously, by now, if you're not aware, Ako is the best character to obtain. Uh, if you guys haven't been playing for the longest time ever, uh, Ako is by far the strongest character, one of the strongest support in the game, still comparable to uh, Ako and Himari. Is, these two characters are someone that you should always obtain. All right, why do I recommend players to pull for Ako? So number one, if you are a new player, building the characters uh, for the end game content, which is raids, are going to be very difficult. But because she is going to be a support, she's not a DPS, it's going to be much easier to build her. And then you can borrow somebody's uh, 
offensive unit which is the damage dealer to be able to boost them with your Ako or Himari, right? Because different raids are going to need different DPS characters. For example, the current Shirokuro, you need to use maybe something like Wakamo. And then in the next one, Bina, you're going to need something like Mika. Now, new players are going to struggle with building a lot of DPS characters. But if you build Ako, you can use her in every single raid. So that's where her value comes in. So in this case, you can see she's a 3 cost unit that gives 39% crit rate and 73% crit damage to one ally. Alright, she also has the ability to heal as well. Alright, so she can always, once in a while, apply a heal to the ally with the lowest HP. So this is going to give her the tangible benefit of being a very, very strong character, you know, compared to a lot of other supports. So these two combination and also, of course, her sub skill just gives everybody 17.3% crit damage. So I do think that, you know, Ako is probably the best candidate. If you don't have her yet, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you guys to pull for her. Uh, you get Ako, you will be able to future-proof your account. So now that we know Ako is here, and this is quite interesting because nobody saw this coming, all right? So Ako literally just came out of nowhere. We didn't know that this would happen because JP didn't have Ako, right? But if you look at the last Ako rerun, 2023, 18th of April 2023, so we did have this somewhere last year. And looks like, you know, she is having a rerun one year later. I think this is a pretty good uh, banner overall because both Ichika and Kasumi are also really strong. And both of them are pretty much, I would say, uh, as strong as meta as it gets, right? In, in terms of the purple type characters because there's just not much choices out there. And if you're a new player, there's a chance that maybe you'll miss out on swimsuit Hanako. So pulling for... Ako, and then maybe you can spark either Kasumi or Ichika, is going to be really, really good for you. I do think that this is going to help push your account a little bit better, and it's going to help you prepare for the upcoming uh, Purple Red boss, right? So let's talk about Kasumi and Ichika a little bit. Now, if you can only pick one between these two, who should you pick, right? Let's first talk about Kasumi. So Kasumi is a Sonic type. She's going to be heavy for the armor type. So Sonic type, like I mentioned, purple type, quite rare, right? So I think if you miss out Swimsuit Hanako, you might not have any purple type characters for the time being. So she's going to be a 4 cost on the EX skill, and you can see she does damage to enemies in the circular area. She can also decrease defense up to 33.5%. That's not bad, right? And also deals damage to them. I think this is overall a pretty good uh, combination, right? And you can see every 35 seconds, she's also going to deal additional damage. And every 3 EX skill uses, she will deal a lot of damage, alright? 1,204% additional damage every time she uses her EX skill multiple times. And I would say she's pretty good pair with Swimsuit Hanako uh, if you have those together, right? But if you don't, uh, you want to pair her with other low-cost units because you want her to spam her EX skill as often as possible so that she can use this additional damage thing, right? So um, that's ideally how you want to maximize her damage potential. Now let's talk about Ichika then. What is she all about? Again, same typing. She's also a Sonic type with a Heavy on the Armor type. Now Ichika is going to be a little bit complicated. She's going to be a 6 cost. I initially thought she was 7 cost, but 6 cost, uh, quite expensive, right? Ideally, if you know, if you see a character with 6 cost, you need to use them with Ui or New Year Fuuka. Alright, and if you don't have those two, it's going to be really hard to utilize her potential and spam her skills. However, you can see multiplier is really high. She does up to 1380% damage to enemies within a cone shape area, and her range is quite wide, similar to Hina, right? So every 30 seconds, she will add 63% sonic efficiency for herself. And of course, when you attack enemies, they are not in cover, and this is going to include mostly, uh, you know, a lot of, especially in story, right? Uh, very, not very often you will see a lot of enemies that are in cover. So usually like bosses and stuff, and those small enemies, you will be able to deal additional damage, 4.4%. That's not bad, right? So uh, I would say Ichika is going to be a little bit harder to use because of the 6 cost. So if you can only pick one, in my humble opinion, it's going to be Kasumi. Now Kasumi is going to be better. Now the truth is, all the characters in this particular banner, they are all going to be strong. Alright, it doesn't matter. If you are going for Kasumi Ichika, but I would recommend getting Ako. Even Yori is still one of the best piercing type character, right? If you don't have Mika. So I do think, right, if you are a new player, the priority is going to be Ako. She should be your top, top, top priority. I will put Kasumi a little bit second, all right? And then I'm going to put uh, Ichika in the third place. And of course, uh, for now, Yori fourth place. I do think that in most cases, Mika is going to be the one that you want to use. Now, Yori is still strong in story, in campaign and stuff. But again, there's a lot of store, there's a lot of characters that you can utilize there as well. For example, Nonomi or Momoi. So those are the characters that you can basically uh, benefit from. Now, of course, 
Like I mentioned, all four of them are going to have their usage. You're not going to regret either one. But if you're a new player, I would definitely, definitely highly consider Akko. But yeah, overall, the Akko banner just came out of nowhere. I do think that this is overall going to be a very, very interesting perspective to look at for a lot of new players. If you're looking to pull for one character and one character only, try to get Akko. If you want to reroll, go ahead and you're not going to regret it. She's going to be very, very strong, very solid moving forward because you can just basically borrow, you know, any of your friend's DPS character and then just use Akko to buff them. All right, so with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this Akko banner rerun out of nowhere. Are you guys pulling? Are you guys going to try to get her? With that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like. Have a nice day. Goodbye.